guys so welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well if you are new hi my name is madison and i post college related videos specifically based around nursing since i'm in nursing school i'm currently a fourth semester nursing student in my icu slash critical care rotation i have my first exam wednesday which is nerve-wracking if you see a lot of commotion around in the back i'm at starbucks and it is crazy crowded so i thought i would do another week in the life for you guys i love filming these and you guys are just so nice and have the best responses to them so I wanted to make another one for you guys. I hope your semester is all going well. I had a farm quiz on Thursday. Um, didn't do good. I got like a 3.85 out of 5. I was so sad. I wanted to cry. So I just have to like study better and like more in depth for farm. I don't have a farm class this semester. If I had farm all three of my other semesters. But this one's kind of just combined within. If this girl hits my car. Oh my gosh. Well, I have farm quizzes every week. I have my first clinical um i had like a five hour orientation we were just in a computer lab setting up our like login and there's always issues with that and i feel like by the time everyone gets situated you're done with your clinical like it's just so annoying we were only on the floor for not that long at all because most of it was like orientation and i did not like it it was so sad i'm in the medical icu and we're not allowed to take care of covid patients it's just like our school rule probably to prevent us from possibly getting it and then coming into school and giving it to like other students, professors, teachers, because we're not online, we're in person. And our lectures for COVID were all online and our lab was still in person and our clinical was still in person, but now we have everything in person. And I'm like fine with that. I couldn't imagine getting sick right now, like while you're in a semester, it would just be a hot mess. But anyway, I did not like it. It was sad, but my mom keeps reminding me to just be positive about it. It's, I need this experience and she's right. I'm just going to go in with like an open mind, but I really like talking with my patients and you know, if they're on ventilators, they can't talk. And it's just, it was, it's really hard for me. We shall see how this goes. I need to go in with an open mind. It's such a short rotation. It's eight weeks. So, and then I start my preceptorship and I'll be doing 12s with a nurse one-on-one -on -one, like my preceptor so anyway i'm getting starbucks and i'm also getting a gift card for my friend that i'm going to see today she graduated in may and she is like one of the most amazing people i've ever met and i have like this whole like grad bin box basket for her so i wanted to like throw a starbucks gift card in there for her and she is an icu nurse saving lives working with covid patients and she's just an incredible nurse and an incredible human so i was like every nurse needs some like coffee boost so i wanted to like stop here i mainly want to get her a gift card but i was like i might as well get something and after i'm waiting in this line i'm gonna need a coffee or some sort of drink oh my goodness that was like a long intro but let's go ahead and get started it's saturday and I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning to study. I will like insert some clips of me studying this morning. I was so tired, um, but I was like, you know what? I'm up, so why not just study? I'm pretty sure I was up studying until 2 a.m. anyway, so I got like no sleep, and then I fell back asleep from like 7.30 to 9.30 or nine. And here we are now, it's 11.20. So Monday's Labor Day and I sadly work, so not looking forward to that, especially because I have an exam Wednesday. I wish I like it was like last week, but that's okay. It's gonna be still good, and I can't believe I'm already on week three out of eight of my critical care rotation. And week eight is finals week, so technically I'm on week three out of seven, which is crazy. I can't believe it. I look so crazy, but I just got out of the bath, and it is Sunday, 4:27, and I have literally just been studying like a crazy person all weekend. You guys already know I set everything out the night before. This looks kind of crazy, but I have my jacket, my top, my scrubs, compression socks, deodorant, hairbrush, face mask, my work bag. Main thing is my badge. It's in there and then a bunch of other junk. I'm going to pick out some snacks for work tomorrow. So I'm going to do two peanut butter chili bars. These ones are my favorite. I love these. Yeah, normally on the way to work, I'll get a coffee from McDonald's and a hash brown. Good morning, guys. I just got to work. It is 
like 6, 10 a.m. I'm so tired. I was up until like 12.30 studying. Hopefully it's a good day. I can't wait to be home and in bed. It's 2.15. I literally devoured my lunch. I had a grilled cheese with like potato wedges. And I've been drinking this all day. I need to get water, but yeah, I'm so tired. But I'm working with three awesome nurses today, which makes it so much better. But yeah, I'm just very tired, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, so I like inhale my food. <sighs> I'm ready to go home, but I have four and can I speak? Four hours and 45 minutes left until I can go home, but it's better than 12. guys so i just changed out the dirty linens it is 4 46 i'm about to get some blood sugars on my patients who um, are about to eat dinner finally done with work thank goodness good morning you guys it is tuesday and i guess it's not really morning i think it's like 11 but i just um finished editing and uploading my plan with me video so that just um went up so if you haven't checked that out check it out if you're interested i passed out so quick after work yesterday i did some editing um and then i like fell asleep i was so tired yesterday was pretty good and the more i thought about it i was like was yesterday my last day working as a pcna because um i don't have any days scheduled um, except I work Labor Day and then New Year's Day is my holiday, but I may have like an RN job by then. I don't know. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I need to study today. Normally the day before the exams, it should not for me. I've had days where it's like a freak out, like, oh my gosh, the exam's tomorrow. But I like it to be like a slower day where I'm just, it should just be like a review really, not trying to consume everything that I don't know if that makes sense and just touching up on things that I'm a little unsure about maybe and again that doesn't always happen because of like time and stuff like I have a farm quiz on Thursday and I haven't even looked over anything because I've been so worried about this big exam so it doesn't always happen that way but I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks get a pumpkin spice latte and sit and do some stuff just to get out of like my bed so abort mission um i don't think they have enough workers in starbucks so like the doors are actually locked to like get into starbucks so they're only doing drive through and then i was like oh i'll go to my school and study there because they have a starbucks and then i'm so dumb i don't have a mask and i had a bunch of like disposables like in here but i tossed them all because as you can see my skin is breaking out really bad probably from yesterday wearing it for 12 hours but I tossed them all I think literally last night <laughs> and I was like I'm not gonna go through like the school with my shirt over my face and look for a mask and they didn't have any parking spots by the Starbucks at the school and I wasn't gonna walk through the whole school without a mask um, or like trying to cover my face so I'm just gonna I came back to the original Starbucks I'm just gonna go through the drive through and then go home and study there so here is my little setup right now I'm gonna eat some breakfast watch Savannah's new video and I got uh, everything bagel with butter and then a little lemon loaf. I'll probably eat that later. Something sweet. I got my water and my pumpkin spice latte. We're ready to go. And I'm going to eat this and then get to studying. We have a lengthy to-do list of things I want to review. But again, this is just reviewing, not like learning and being overwhelmed. It's just like reviewing stuff. I want to be very fresh in my mind for tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. But first, breakfast.
I just wanted to show you guys some stuff that I was doing today. Earlier, I just did ABG practice and I'm good with ABGs. It's just the compensated and uncompensation, like the compensation part. So I did this and I did it the other day and got 100%. And then today I missed two because I think I was just rushing through. So I just had to like look at it again and I was fine. So I did that. I just used registered nurse RN questions. And then I was practicing some heparin math, but I'm going to um, look over that again. So heparin math. And then our instructor just gave us like a blank concept map like this and said that sometimes it's nice the night before exams to just dump everything out that you know um, under the right categories. So I kind of did that here um, in black and then anything in red that I wanted to add, I didn't remember when I went through to check my work, I added that in red here. So here I have pulmonary embolism, acute respiratory distress syndrome, and then pneumothorax. And I mixed um, this diagnostic stuff up with a PE and some signs and symptoms. So I definitely have to get that straight. But I have these, and then we have a bunch of dysrhythmias stuff to know, but like, I don't know really how to put that into a concept map. So I have been, I made these cards, these flashcards, and I taped like rhythm pictures on it. And then I have like what the rhythm is on the back. I've been studying those. And then I've also been looking at this little like chart here with like causes, treatment, all of that, which has been nice. So I'm going to practice some more heparin and then watch some registered nurse RN videos and my Snoopy PJs again, they're from Marshalls. And then I'm going to try to go to bed early because I'm tired. It is probably like seven something right now, but didn't nap all day, which is good. I was getting a little bit tired, so I just took a bath and then refocused. It's 8 a.m. It's exam day. <laughs> exam day look and outfit um i'm pretty sure i wore this shirt on my first day of classes or something but don't worry it's washed i'm just taking this tote bag with my laptop and stuff because i don't need everything and my room's a mess because um i was studying and my life's a mess so anyway i'm gonna eat something quickly and then leave you guys i passed my exam i am so happy i got a 40 well my raw score is a 40 out of 45 which is an 88%. And then she said she's going to do an item analysis and like see if, you know, there was a question that we all got wrong or, you know, stuff like that. So I'm so happy and it was hard. And I did not think I, when I was going through it, I was like, oh, I'm scared to see what my grade is, but I'm happy. I'm relieved. And yeah. I'm um, probably gonna go take a nap now. Alright, so if I look crazy, I just woke up from my nap, but I'm here helping Allie set up her classroom. She put these cute little things up here. I love them. And we're gonna do the bulletin board right now. So, let's go. Guys, this is our first time doing a bulletin board, so be nice. Okay, so I just got home. Here is a before of my room. We're going to tidy it up here. We got a lot of craziness going on just from, you know, studying and stuff like that. This is full of clean laundry that's folded. I just need to put away and I have like my scrub top and I need to get everything ready and laid out for a clinical in the morning. And 
that's what we're gonna do and then i need to get started on a week three stuff which is this week we're learning sorry my pants keep falling down <laughs> we're learning sepsis and shock this week and i like to always do the stuff like during the weekend so i have everything done for like the week but because i was studying i wasn't going to cram shock and sepsis if it's not even on my exam so i'm gonna try to do that tonight also my farm quiz haven't even looked at that stuff i listened to the lecture once so yeah i look a mess this is how i met my sister's uh co-workers yeah but we're gonna clean this up these are like a bunch of new clothes that i got that i don't know where to put because i have like no room so i'm going to clean all of this and also like sweep and dust so let's do that <music> Okay, so this is what my room looks like. Sorry, it's kind of crazy in the background because my brother just got home, but I have my bag laid out for school, scrubs, clean my desk off, and then this is what it looks like. I took the clothes off here, so you can kind of see what this looks like now. If you watch my videos, you know this used to be my desk, so which wasn't even made to be a desk, but yeah. So this is what this looks like, very cute. I have this clean candle from, I think Marshall's lit. It smells like lemon and super lemony and clean. And patients who are in various different shock states or patients who- Guys, I am just so tired and just drained from school and studying. I need to really look over my farm stuff. I have like all my papers here to look over for farm. And I like re-listened to her lecture, but I need to do obviously way more than that because I couldn't tell you anything about any of the medications. I'm gonna order pasta with meat sauce from Pizza Hut. I love it, it's so good. <laughs> chewy bar drinking some water and i just gave my morning meds to my head to toe assessment and i need to do some charting it's going good so far i am tired though but i'm always tired all right i literally just got home and i'm about to hop in the shower and then i will update you guys i literally look crazy look at my lashes oh my gosh i am nice and clean i feel like i just look like a new person um just after a nice shower, after like any time I'm in the hospital. Um, I also need to do some like self-care this weekend because my unibrow is growing in and I just need some TLC. But um, what I'm doing now is I am studying, I'll show you, just studying some meds. Um, there's a lot of vasopressors this week because we're learning about, sorry, that's so crooked. Um, there's a lot of vasopressors this week because we're learning about shock. And so we want to like increase that blood pressure. We have some anti-diuretics going on here. Just took my farm quiz, got a 4.38 out of five, which I'm happy with. I can't see what I got wrong yet. So I think they're going to go over it tomorrow at lab, but I'm happy because I did better than last week. And so hopefully each week I just keep getting better.
Good morning, you guys. So it is 8.12 and I'm getting ready to go to lab. And yeah, I'm very tired, like very tired, but the sun's out, so please wake me up. Okay, so I just got done with lab. It was good. I got a iced coffee with cream and sugar earlier and also a hash brown. It went good. So if I look different, my lashes, I took them off because there was like none on this eye and it was beautiful on this eye. And I think it's because it's the side I sleep on. I don't know. But anyway, it's 1.50, it's Saturday and I am flying out to Kansas City, Missouri um, at 6. So I have to be at the airport at like 3 something. And the Starbucks by me was completely closed because I think they're short workers. So I'm at a different one, but the line's long, but no surprise. Hopefully I can get this fast and then quickly go and pack. Me and my sister literally just got the tickets like an hour ago, but we got everything's like situated with the hotel and everything already. It's the Browns opening game tomorrow, not the home opener because it's in Kansas City, Missouri. I didn't go to any games last year because of school and I'm like, I need to like live my life a little even while I'm in school and I just had an exam. So it's kind of like a nice little time to go, I guess. got my strawberry lemonade refresher and I am going to we're leaving for the airport in like an hour so what I'm gonna do is listen to my farm lecture for week four and take notes on that got to the airport it's cold but there's like no one here so we got through security and everything really fast and now we're gonna find a smoothie for Allie and we're looking to see if they have any cute browns merch here browns merch browns jerseys I don't know
hotel room. So pretty and it has a really pretty view. Um, I'll show you of the city. You can kind of see a nice desk area for me to study. And then the bathroom is over there. Right? 